with it. You like Trump? Good girl. You like Biden? Come on, man. We cheated. Okay, I've been wanting to do a video on this for a while. This is a crude drawing of uh, how to hook up a, a reflect mater, which this would be a reflect mater. This would be a reflect mater. This would be a reflect mater. This is a radio mater amp. Amp meter radio you're just running one amp you just come out of the radio and you reverse this meter if you just got this regular meter if you got a bird you can just turn the slug but if you got like a dozy or a mfj or anything like that don't have a reflect on it you just run it straight out of your radio from your antenna over to your radio radio over the amp out of the amp into the radio and out of the antenna to the antenna that's what one amp in line. If you got multiple, you got to run multiple meters because you want to read the reflect in between each amp. This is amp one, amp two. So if you run the driver into a bigger box, you want to come out of your radio into your antenna part of your first meter. Like for running a dozy, something other like that. Come out of where your radio goes in, into the input, radio side, input of your first amplifier. Come out of your second amplifier, if you, like I said, if you run a uh, bird or something so I just turn the slug but this one's going to be the same way come out of your antenna go into the antenna of that radio because it's going to be reading backwards everything going backwards come out of your radio side to the amplifier and then go out of your amplifier to your radio side out of your antenna to your antenna you see that that's just flip flopping them that's all that is is flip flopping this way you will read your reflect through this meter going back to that radio and this one here you can read you reflect going back to this amp now of course if you reflect as high in between this amp and this amp, you got to change jumper length or retune this amplifier. This amplifier needs to be retuned to compensate for the uh, reflect in between that. Most peel type amplifiers are already tuned, so you either got a problem somewhere. I mean, you ain't gonna always. You want to set this on your lowest wattage setting. This one at like five watt. This one at like five watt.
this one had like 5 watt this meter here is going to read your full output going to your antenna so let's say this amplifier here has put out 200 watts and it's driving into this one it's going to be doing 2000 watts you're going to see your full output power on this meter here that's going to be your full output power on this meter here because that one's hooked up the right way come out of your antenna side This is your radio side. This radio side. This amplifier here. That one there. This one's going to be hooked up the right way. These are just going to be flip flop. This can be a cheap uh, Radio Shack meter. Anything it don't need to be over. Uh, be, being that's between in between the driver amp and that amp uh, you might see five six watts that ain't too bad uh, all depends on how much you're putting out on this big end the more you put out back here the more reflect you can have uh, I don't know no better way to explain that but this is with watt meters now like a bird like I said Like what a bird, you can read either way. When you put that slug in, it's going this way. It's reading your power going this way. And when you flip it around, it's going that way. So you, that's the reason majority of people run bird because one thing, a really good damn meter, and another one is because you can reverse the polarity of it and go back and forward switch this one go this way now you turn it around you need to read reflect going this way so i hope this helps somebody out uh, like i said if you got a dozy you can run a dozy on the 10 watt scale i think uh, maybe 20 watt scale 20 watt scale something other like that i think it's the lowest they go down to 20 watt scale but you can run a dozy on that. I used to have my table set up with dozy, dozy. No trouble. Dozy is a good white meter. Uh, the new ones with the little world icon on them, uh, they're pretty damn tight. Tighter than a bird. Sure are. And if y'all uh, do it to, like this right here, it should work out fine. I think I did it right. Radio to the antenna. Radio. Because you normally you'd run it over to the radio side, then out. And that would just read the wattage in between. Uh, it would read the radio wattage going out. But you're reversing it. Now you're reading everything coming back this way. From this point on. They don't have anything to do with these up here. All that's canceled out. You're only reading from this point back to this radio with these reversed. Now if you had it hooked up the right way, it wouldn't it wouldn't read nothing but the power from here to here. And then everything else is canceled out. And then this one, if it was hooked up the right way, would only read the power that was coming out of your driver amp, uh, which would be here, say 200 watts. And then yeah, uh, big box would be reading the full output of this amp plus this amp. This amp would be going through this, pushing this amplifier out to your antenna. <coughs> you see that? This is the way like my table's hooked up. My table's hooked up like kind of like this, and my drive amp stays in line all the time. So coming out of my radio, I actually go through a switch box here so I can change between two radios, but I hardly ever use that. 
but uh, that kind of creates an issue too. But uh, I run six foot jumpers like from a radio to this first meter, and then a six foot jumper to here. Even though they might be close, I still run a six foot jumper. Try not to coil them up, try to lace them out. Let's say like this. Instead of coiling them up like that, don't coil them up. Try to lace it like that. And try to keep them spread apart if you can. Way mine is on this table up here, it's kind of uh, like this, but it's wove out further. And that's the reason I have this table the way it's made. It's so I can spread the coaxes out, and then I come over about six inches from the other one and wove the other one out. Got little hangers up and out of hanging on, uh, so I don't have to coil anything up. Uh, if you read it, run a coil like this on your coax, uh, which I do up here on this thing, but uh, on this one, I had to coil it up because I couldn't wrap it back and forth. But uh, that will make an inductance and it will create some kind of issues. And on the uh, bottom of antennas. Now this is just me, it's the way I do it. Uh, you don't have to do it. It's just something I guess you'd call taboo. So this is your antenna. Like a Mr. Corley. Come down. Go exits up here. Uh, I come down about a foot and then I start wrapping coils. Start wrapping coils. And I wrap up about eight coils. And then it comes in and goes to your meter. And the reason I do it like that. Uh, it's for a few issues. They, they call it a Durley Ballum. Uh, I had Reflect coming in, which Reflect was wanting to, instead of going out this way and go to the antenna, it was wanting to bounce back. It was wanting to come back. Reflect was there. And uh, this the output here. That's out there. I put up. I was meant to put out. I was thinking about up to your antenna. Oh. Uh, but I did it like that and eight didn't work out. I wrapped it around a coffee can. Some people wrap them around a uh, piece of PVC and make them look, look really nice. And uh, But I wrapped mine around a coffee can to start with and kind of loosely where I could take the coffee can out. Mine don't have a coffee can in it. Uh, you don't want to put tea in or nothing like that. Uh, I've seen PVC. I've seen a lot of ham guys do it like this. And like I said, eight didn't work. Eight didn't work. Seven didn't work. But six did. Six worked for my application. And when I set up my uh, meter, I mean my antenna system, I fed back through the system. I fed back through the system. My antenna was here. And my coax, of course, was here. Coax was here. Now, this is just me. 
I set my antenna up with my MFJ or rig expert directly to the bottom of the antenna. I set that up without any coax hooked up to it. Got the reactors down to zero, the ohms as close to 50 as I could get it, and the SWR, the dip on channel uh, 20. Uh, so when it comes across, it dips out and then goes back up and goes out. This is this point was about channel 40. And this point was about channel 20. I mean channel 1. And this was channel 20. So the dip on the meter looked like that on the rig expert. And the dip, this was 1.2. This at 1 was 1.2. And at 20 was 1.0. Uh, R was 52, I think, and the X is 0. Now, that was on the antenna, setting that up. And then, when I took my, uh, I hooked up my system for, says, the bird watt meter here, hooked to that. Come out of the bird white meter uh, into a uh, insignificant length of coax. I cut it about 15 feet. And the way I done that is I took this coax here that hooked up to my antenna. I brought that. I can actually bring mine in the house back through this door and I looked at it there and the other end comes out through my bird watt meter which was here which was this feed point and I fed back I read back through there from here my, my meter up here on this coax here read back through my meter which is my line section to here and I got the, uh, I started trimming the coax to where I got my coax uh, tuned in to the X was zero. And with a, I don't know if y'all see it with a T network and a, a rig expert, that's a whole nother subject. But that's the way I fed back through that. And then where my radio was at. Now I don't know this to be right. I've asked a few people. And they never, never gave me a good answer on it. But this is my radio. The connector coming out of it. Well, I didn't have the coax hooked up there. The coax is here. I hooked my meter up there. Right through here through my bird, which I'm on line section, through there, and to another 15-foot uh, jumper. And then I hooked my MFJ here, through this bird white meter, back down to here, and got this X equals zero. So my coax should be uh, pretty much not seen between where I hook up to an amplifier till it gets back to the radio. So everything through there, the reactor should be zero. That's what my point is getting at. Now if this is the right way to do it, I have no clue. Uh, that's just the way I've done it. It worked out for me. And I hope it helps some of y'all out. Uh, so, recap, I went with the uh, rig expert and I hooked that up here, not to the radio. I hooked it up here and was running my signal back through my line section and everything and 
trim this back till I got a reactance of zero. And the same way here. Didn't have the antenna hooked up. The antenna was already tuned. It was already tuned out, like I said, to this. It was a 1.2 on 40, 1.2 on 1, and I made sure I had those right. Equaled out. You want to keep them about equal. And uh, if you get like 1.4 on top, on 40, you know, make some adjustments till you get it down to 1.2 or so. Some antennas don't have a big dip in it. Some of them might be 1.5 on 40 and 1.5 on 1. But try to equal it out and keep your center of your, or like if you're going to talk on channel 8, you want to set it up, um, or channel 28. You want to kind of set it up, that's your main channel, you want to kind of set it up for channel 28. So your dip's going to be off a little bit. But you need to go up, uh, 19 channels up the frequency band, and 19 channels back the other way. You see what I'm saying? To equal your dip out. It might be on, let's see, channel 28, uh, 40 channels up above it would be, what, uh, channel 48 and then down below it it will be channel 8 so you want your dip on channel 8 and channel 48 but you can move your frequency range up and down on your meter on your uh, MFJ whatever I don't know I hope this is explained right it's the way I've done it uh, to the best of my abilities I think it's right it worked out for me and I hope it helps somebody out somewhere along the line. But it's the way I've done it. That's the way I got a few of my friends done it. Uh, they didn't uh, back feed through here. But my coaxes here, are, uh, uh, they're really weird length. I think this is about 14, 15 feet between here and here. 15 feet or so. And this one here is like maybe this this one's about four or five feet and this one's about 15 feet but that's the way it came up but I you gotta when you hook up a meter or you got a coax that you done tuned uh, this pits coax and you done tuned it to the reactants to the X equals zero says six foot four six foot uh, four inches long and let's say it's uh, RG 400 that's what I like working with now it's Teflon and the ends go on so much easier uh, okay so you got that you didn't equal that out by the time you put let's let's say you made a jump up and you got this end on, but you ain't got this end on, and you done trimmed it back, and you done got your X down to zero. Well, by the time you put that end on, the end, uh, you done be, you done, your X has done come up to two, because you put that end on. Well, the way I make a jumper, I go up to channel 40. Now, it's just me. If y'all come up with a different thing, it's, let me know. You know, I don't know. But I do it on channel 40. So when I put this end on, it goes back. It, 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 it will remain uh, at zero because I put the end on. Uh, it will tune out on like channel 20 to zero and it's still should be about zero here. You got a little window of room on the uh, on the meter. That's what I'm getting at, I guess. I hope I'm explaining this right. It's to the best of my ability. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Fuck it, I'm wrong. That was just all I can say. But that's just what I did. And uh, if some of you antenna guys out there has got any better ideas, just let me know. Call me. You ain't got to call me out on the internet make me look stupid, because uh, I am. Uh, I do the best I know how, and it's just the way I do it. 
if like I said I'm willing to learn if you uh, got a better way of doing it do it and if I'm telling somebody wrong I hope to God I'm not it's just the way I did mine but uh, but getting back to this if you tune that out and then you add a meter in here uh, and then you come out with another jumper there uh, you didn't add it so this is if this jumper's tuned to say this one's tuned to uh, X equals zero uh, your actives to that is this this one's tuned to zero this one's tuned to zero here uh, you got about six eight all depends on what meter you got inches added into that so the way I corrected for that and the only way I knew how is to hook my meter up here my MFJ or rig expert I like MFJ I've worked with it long as I kind of like it a little better but uh, and I like that little meter it ain't quite as sensitive as a rig expert uh, so you get kind of a steady reading it's just me but so on this application like this I had to make the jumper uh, longer and then trim it back to where I back fed through my meter and through my jumper till I got X equals zero. That's just the way I did it. So this didn't actually equal up to six foot. It was longer and I trimmed it back. So I took up the um, reactors of the feed point which would be here and the end result there. That's just my way of thinking. Might not be right. I might be wrong about the whole damn deal. I have no clue. But I hope it helps somebody out. If it helps you, God bless you. I hope it does. If it don't, I'm sorry. That's all I can say. That's just the way I've done it. Battery's getting ready to run dad. So I'm going to get out of here with what I did. And uh, hopefully, to God, I've told you the right way. But like I said, that's just the way I've done it. And it worked out for me. So, alright. Y'all have a good day. Lighter.